I reiterate my main point, sisters and brothers. I reiterate my point, not just to us sitting here, but to every person who sees this khutbah and sermon around the world. This is a call of action. We cannot help our brothers and sisters physically over there. We cannot do so for many reasons. In fact, what is even more painful, we cannot even raise funds that will reach them right now, I'm sorry to be blunt with you. Nobody can raise funds and actually, you can raise funds, it won't reach them right now. Right now, I just spoke with my own organizations and agencies, there is a blockade. There is an international blockade. You Sisters and brothers, there are two wars going on right now. There's a war of bodies over there. And that's something we cannot do except make dua to Allah. But there's another war, a war of the minds, a war of the media, a war of perception, a war of influence. And I say bluntly and boldly, we have to be involved in this other war. Now, the war that I'm calling for is not a Sharia-based influence. This is not radical jihad. What I'm calling for is for us to stand up and be quintessentially American, be a part of the democratic process, be a part of campaigning, be a part of media influencing, be a part of public perception. This is the war that I'm calling for. This is our country in the end of the day. And enough is enough with the lies and the propaganda and the smear campaigns for decades against innocent people. We of this land have the exact same rights and the exact same privileges as all other people. And if we unite together, not only as Muslims, but as all people of all different backgrounds, and we say to our leaders in Canada, in Australia, in England, and yes, in America, enough is enough. If you cannot invoke the memory of a Holocaust to inflict another potential Holocaust on innocent victims. Join hands with Christians, Jews, people of no faith to clamor for a human rights issue in this area. Muslims, the path ahead might be long and treacherous. The path ahead might be full of some setbacks. Today as we speak, Allahu A'lam what's going to happen to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. But the long-term war is not judged by one battle. We might lose a few battles. May Allah protect and may Allah forgive and may Allah bless. We might lose battle today, but the war in the long term is going to be won. The war of minds, the war of truth, the war of justice. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says in the Quran that the truth shall always prevail over falsehood. The truth has come and Baatil has been vanquished and the truth shall always destroy falsehood. Put our trust in Allah. Look forward in the long run. Realize long-term victory might have some setbacks, but if every one of us gets involved, if every one of us does our part, if every one of us gets involved in the war of the minds and the war of the intellect and the war of the media, inshaAllah ta'ala, inshaAllah, in our own lifetimes, we will see the change change of tide having completely gone and that is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah's promise is never going to be vanquished.